He's known as the Octopus King, and now you can be reading a book that he co-authored. You can follow him on Instagram and so much more if you have a love for octopuses. I want to bring in Warren Carlisle. Warren, welcome to the show, and I love the octopus on the bed. It's very appropriate. Thanks so much. So excited to be here. Hey, so excited to have you. Okay, so first things first, octopuses is the proper, not octopi, correct? Yes, if you want to make friends with scientists, octopuses is what's correct. Um, you wouldn't put a um, Latin ending on a Greek word. So that's just for people, it's like kind of like a secret handshake between octopus fans. <laughs> octopus fans, a secret handshake, I love it. Things I never thought I would hear in the same sentence, but here we are. So Warren, let's talk about you and how you started your Instagram and it just blew up. So tell us about Octonation. Yeah, so what started is kind of like a childhood fascination turned into this global nonprofit with over a million followers. But it started when I was seven years old and I saw an octopus for the first time. And I didn't know what to do with my fascination. I went to the library and lo and behold, there were no books. And so it wasn't until later on, you know, when you're later on in life and you're wondering what you should do, you read a book. And I picked up Soul of an Octopus, which many of you are probably familiar with. And um, it, in the first three pages, she says, you're probably curious why there aren't more books or there's more fanfare about the octopus. They've never really had a good PR agent. And I raised my hand and said, I want that to be me. <laughs> so I reached out to Sai and I said, hey, I have really no background in this. And she goes, you know, go forth and conquer Octo King. And I created Octonation. And now, you know, like I said, our content this past year reached over half a billion viewers. Wow. And uh, we're we're excited about this new book. Oh my gosh, congratulations. So when you're talking about Sai, that is who you co-authored the book with. Tell us about uh, the new book that's coming out. Yeah, so when she reached out to me to write the 16 Octo profiles in the end, I shrieked. I didn't know what to, where to put where to put myself. And um, the way that I kind of imagined it would it would be like a love letter from different octopus species all over the world to the reader. And Sai writes about all the latest research um, that we've really uncovered since she wrote her book in 2015. There's so much new research. It's really the golden age of octopus research right now. And you're going to find out about that later this month when James Cameron releases his TV series, Secrets of the Octopus. Oh my gosh, Kay, you have to tell us more about that because, I mean, he's amazing in and of itself, an incredible, incredible man in the film industry. And to take a break from some of the huge films he's done to do this, tell us a little bit more and when we can see the film. Yeah, with Avatar, arguably one of the most expensive films in history, he took a break to record our underwater living, breathing avatars, which are the octopuses. They exist in every ocean. They're along every coastline. And depending on where they live, they have a unique superpower that allows them to be masters of their environment. So you have like the Antarctic octopus that has antifreeze proteins in its skin. And you even have something called a hot water volcano octopus that can survive hydrothermal vents where seawater meets magma. So there's so many secrets that we're going to be uncovering in Secrets of the Octopus. Before talking to you, I had no idea that I had an interest in octopus. Yeah, we say that before you watch um, the TV series Secrets of the Octopus premiering on Earth Day on National Geographic, you should really pick up the book to learn about them beforehand so you can point them out with your friends and be like, well, you know, there is a day octopus. They can change colors faster than, you know, you can blink. You're naming a lot of species, but do we know how many octopuses there are out there? Yeah, so I, you know, there's over 300 known species, but they just discovered, you know, four species this past month. Wow. Um, I believe that there's thousands and it just goes to show you how much we have yet to uncover about our oceans. And I think people are going to discover that once they start looking at Secrets of the Octopus in the book, they're going to be so curious and want to learn more. And they can do that totally on our social channels like Instagram. I love it. Okay, so Warren, we've talked about social media, the book, the film. How do we get our hands on all of these things? How do we follow you? So the cool thing about the book is that it's available wherever books are sold, wherever you choose to get them. On Amazon, you can order it through your local bookstore. Everybody has this book. It's being translated into multiple languages. It's very exciting. Like I said, it's the golden age of octopus research. And I'm really excited for you to get the book. Amazing. And then, of course, we are going to put all the information for his Instagram in our web story. If you want to go to fox13now.com and click on the place. Warren, so great to meet you and excited to learn more. So great to meet you too. See you soon.